Hi guys, so we're here at the forge and um, so I built myself this western style uh, standing forge and I don't know much about these uh, kind of forges. I, I work mostly with Japanese style uh, on the ground um, types of forge and uh, so I built this uh, basically uh, guessing what I had to do and I made, a, I made a huge mistake with the hood and that's why I'm making this video because I want you to know what not to do. I ended up in hospital because of uh, carbon monoxide poisoning. I spent a night uh, breathing oxygen in hospital. It's not fun. When they say uh, carbon monoxide is uh, very dangerous because you can't smell it, you can't see it, that's the absolute truth. Um, I spent four hours working here and I never noticed that I was breathing it until I left the shop at night and I was dizzy and I felt like drunk. So um, this, this was really scary. And then ended up in the middle of the night waking up and felt uh, in distress. My heart was beating really weird and I couldn't breathe properly. So I called the ambulance and they told me what I'd done. And uh, so right away when I got out of the hospital, I bought this guy here. And uh, so <clears throat> now at least I'll have an alarm uh, go off if uh, anything happens again. But what I want to talk about in this video is uh, the reason. And I was given this hood, which is... Uh, fun looking so I made I made all the, the the pipes and everything but I was given this hood which was for a fireplace before and uh, so I thought it looked cool it was free so I installed it there and then now I know it cannot possibly work it's way too far away from the fire from the heat so what happens is when the hood is too far away from the heat it sucks in a lot of ambient air right and that ambient air will cool the average temperature in the flue and this will uh, basically lower the, the, the convection power in, in the chimney and what happens is that some of the gases will flow outside the chimney, the hood and then you will breathe it and when it's just raw smoke I mean you see it right away, you don't like it and you stop everything but when it's carbon monoxide uh, which happens a lot because I use uh, charcoal, not coal, but actual uh, wood charcoal, then you get a lot of carbon monoxide out of this. And uh, if it doesn't get uh, sucked out properly, you end up breathing it. So um, don't build hoods like this. Be very careful. So what I learned, basically the rules are a maximum of 16 inches height above the fire. Um, uh, Above that, you have chances of sucking in ambient air, and that gets uh, that makes it dangerous. So I'm going to rebuild this hood. Uh, that prevents me from forging for a while. I hate it, but I really get uh, I really get uh, get down to do this uh, right away. And uh, I actually found a website. I'm going to put the link in the description below, so you can have a look at a nice page I found, which explains what a good forge hood is and how it works. So uh, do be careful, guys. This was really dangerous. I was very lucky. I didn't, um, you know, I didn't uh, lose consciousness or anything. I was just very dizzy and drunk, and I didn't even know why at the at the time, actually. So I think what saved me is the fact that I was working. So I was very, uh, I was, uh, you know, a, a awake and working. But if this happens in a place where you're sleeping, uh, you just don't wake up. So. Um, I have kids, <laughs> so that really, really, really gave me a big slap in the face. So really do be careful. It's, um, I mean, now that I look at it, it's really obvious to me that this is this cannot possibly work. But, you know, when you don't know, that's, ignorance is the problem, right? It's the number one problem on this planet. So, all right. So just, I'll get back to my regular videos. Uh, there's a lot uh, on the way. Uh, I've been filming a bit. So um, hopefully see you again here. Thanks.